Man, I can't take it anymore. There's so much to learn, so much to build. I don't know what to do. There is over $100,000 inside of this. Whichever one of these guys touches the boat first. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Let's go! Okay, okay. Hello? Bro, what are you doing? What do you mean? It's Jake the Programmer, dude, from Dev Slopes. What are you doing? You haven't been coding for weeks. I know, I know. It just gets harder now. I have so much going on. Look, Brody, it's going to be tough. It's supposed to be tough. You just need to block out a time during the day. I know, man, I know. It's just most of the time, something gets in my way. Look, Bronkowski, it makes sense, okay? Just take a look at your schedule and see if there's something that you can sacrifice that way you have more time to code. Plus, dude, if you're just using cheap courses and coding classes, then you're not gonna get anywhere. You're just gonna get unmotivated. Apprenticeship is key. Well, I mean, I never thought about it like that. Yeah, idiot, man. Anyway, that's my take on it, dude. Just get back in it, man. Yes! What's going on guys? It's Connor from Dev Slopes, and I hope you guys love that first segment of the video. A lot of the times when you're learning how to code, especially as a beginner, it can be very, very, very easy to get distracted and unmotivated, especially when you're doing it all on your own. Some of the things you need to understand, coding will make you frustrated from time to time. It's just how it is. And it is also a very long process meaning you can't learn how to code in four to five weeks. It can easily take you months before you're proficient in programming. But there are some things you can do to make the coding process a lot easier. Number one, staying consistent. Just like Jake the programmer said, you have to find a time during the day to block out and focus on programming. This means in some cases, you might need to take a look at your schedule and see what's holding you back from learning. Are you spending too much time playing video games? Do you need to cut some hours at work that way you're not so tired? Do you need to find a daycare for your kids that way you have time to spend focused on programming? As hard as it sounds, it's very important that you spend at least two to three hours a day learning how to code. That way you can ensure that you're still on track. The second thing you can do to make learning how to code a lot simpler and easier is learning through apprenticeship. This means you're learning under someone, a mentor. Someone who knows the ropes of programming and knows exactly what you need to become a paid developer. This is the best way to learn how to code. Think if you were gonna become a plumber or an electrician. Not only are you supposed to learn hands-on, you also learn under someone. You usually have the master plumber or the master electrician showing you and guiding you through the skill. Well, the same thing applies with programming. And working under someone has so many benefits. Not only does it keep you motivated, but it also makes the process almost stress-free. If you run into a problem that you just cannot figure out, you have your mentor to go to. If you have questions, you have your mentor. If you need feedback on your code, you have someone to go to. This can easily cut your time down from learning how to code from two years down to like six months, as long as you're staying consistent. And look guys, if you wanna learn how to code and be just like Jake the programmer, well, first you'd have to code strictly in light mode since he's such a demigod, you have to follow the steps and 
learn the right way. That means taking the time to find a coaching and mentorship program that works best for you and your schedule. <coughs> Death slips. <coughs> but in all seriousness, guys, we will not only show you how to code, but we will hold your hand and walk you through it. And the best part is you can earn while you learn. Yes, earn while you learn. So if you want more details on that, click the link down below or check out devslopes.com forward slash apply. Guys, I really hope you like this video and I hope it shows you how you need to take the learning process. It can definitely be frustrating, but there are things you can do to make it 10 times easier. So if you want more of these videos, please smash that like button, leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.